Okay, let's hope for a, you know, an actually interesting episode where stuff happens. And not another filler episode, please. That'd be great. I have come to speak to you about your dragon's extended warranty. <laughs> what is your name? Adam. Of Hull. He could easily just go... I mean, I guess it would insult Corlys if he hasn't acknowledged the bastard. To say that he's Corlys Varen's bastard. So, you know. Look, it's it's more bastards. More bastards getting dragons, buddy. Look, 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 just like you. Yeah, just like you. Look strong. It's another bastard, just like you. <laughs> Where's the queen? Insults at my sons behind my back. Insults, truths, same difference. Alternative facts, lads, alternative facts. Ah, uh, Tully. Tully's here. Excellent. I swear to shit, is Damon just never gonna leave Harrenhal? Is he just never gonna leave Harrenhal at any point? He's just going to stay here the entire season until he dies. That's it. He's just never going to leave. Not even going to leave the walls at any point. <sighs> Come along, Lord Oscar. Oscar? What happened to Elmo? Elmo. Lord Elmo Tully, goddammit. His name is Elmo. <laughs> Seriously. It was a meme name. They should have kept the meme name, goddammit. Elmo and Grover. There was a Kermit as well. They've changed the Tully's names from the meme ones to... Proper ones, god damn it. You have been summoned here to swear in you your fealty to him, and as his bannermen, answer his call. I've been faithful. Man, this is stupid. You've just lost the support of House Blackwood. You, you've just lost the support of one of the most powerful houses in the Riverlands, because they followed orders. Like, the, the house that punished Bracken for siding with the people that you have declared enemies? You know, you can rebel against the River Lords and everything, and don't worry, the guys that put you down will be punished. This is such a terrible, terrible fucking decision. It's like, it's like, why are the Malisters going on about the old ways? They're Faith of the Seven, they're not Old God. It's only the Blackwoods are the Old Gods, they're more of the old ways than anything else. They're, they're acting like this is the North. No, it isn't. It's the Riverlands. It's extremely conflicted. Cutting off Blackwoods ahead is just the stupidest fucking thing ever, assuming Damon actually just did it. Is he dead? Uh, so he's just, he's just dead. Okay, so no no Bloody Ben, no anything? And why would Bloody Ben even... Can, if, if, if Bloody Ben even exists? Bloody... Bl Bloody Ben Blackwood. I, and, uh, they've, they've, cut, they've, they've changed so much unnecessarily. They've changed so much unnecessarily. The Riverlands has been butchered like HBO butchered Dawn. <laughs> Seriously, the entire Riverlands story has been absolutely just destroyed and ruined and twisted and just made so much lesser, just like the whole Dornish storyline in Game of Thrones was twisted and destroyed and ruined and ha had characters removed for no fucking reason. Uh, this is the biggest disappointment and biggest letdown in the entire goddamn season so far, is just the entire of Daemon's storyline, the entire of the Riverlands storyline is just, j just, just fucked. It's shit. Good lord, why change the names of established characters and just completely change their story entirely? Jesus Christ, man. Who thought this was a good idea? Somebody thought, yeah, this is a better story than the actual fucking canon that's supposed to happen. No. No, it isn't. It's garbage. Also, the thing is, we never even saw the supposed, like, great grievous crimes. Like, this would make more sense if... If you showed Blackwood men, like, you know, raping the women, and killing them innocent, and cutting them up, and being really brutal, and burning down homes of people inside of them, and being, like, really, you know, really, really ruthless, rather than just saying, yeah, they did some bad stuff. They did some bad stuff off camera, it was cool, trust me. None of this happened at the books. None of it. Jesus Christ. Why, why do any of this? See, if she's gonna tame Sheepstealer, and I'm assuming that's where they're going here, they've completely written out Nettles for reasons and they're just gonna replace it with the uh, you know blackwashed characters uh because that's what they are i'm sorry to be you know that's gonna upset some people me even using that term but that is what it is you've replaced a canonically black character with a character that you have uno reversed uh, <laughs> uh writing the other one out completely extremely unfortunate and ironic uh and you're gonna have her be it but she's in a completely the wrong location like she's gonna go she's just gonna abandon the kids so sheep stealer has to be a part of the war, but I don't know. What's she doing? Okay, so first of all, there's no way in hell 
that the dragon is close to the Eerie, because that would be an immediate threat. Second of all, she can't just wander through the Vale of Arran alone, with no guards. The mountain men are gonna get her, for Christ's sake. She can't just do that. Do you know how dangerous that fucking is? Jesus Christ, man. Fucking hell, no. No, she can't do that. Plot armor. Girl just got plot armor. He's unstoppable. Alison said she wanted to go to the Godswood. There's a Godswood in King's Landing. Admittedly, it's not a real Godswood. It's a fake one. But what does Alison care? She wants to go to the Godswood. Outside of the city? By herself? With one guard? No. Just no, dude. Good night. Is she God. gonna try Heir to- the Dunfall. These people are- Lady Massaria. You're in That's your new mum you're talking about. Have some respect, boy. He was the Lord Commander of your Queen's Guard. Heir to the Dunfall. If he's part of the King- If he's part of the King's Guard, he's not heir to anything. Heir to the Dunfall. No. No. no he isn't. He's taking his vows of the King's Guard. He's not heir to shit, boy. Kinda like how you aren't heir to shit. Mongrels. Like you, boy. Mongrels. Yes, I could have phrased it better myself. They are mongrels, just like you. You may lay claim to it. What are we then? Bastards. The Same as you, boy. rulers of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> I mislike all of this. Gee, Renera, you mislike all of it, huh? Well, maybe you should have, uh, should have thought of that before you made a series of really fucking stupid decisions that led to literally all of this out of your greed and hubris and selfish intentions and your desire to sit a throne of which once upon a time you didn't even want until it was being taken from you and then you wanted it. Because you have a long and storied history, my dear, of just doing whatever the hell you want the damned be the consequences. Oh, your uncle doesn't want to sleep with you? That's fuck the king's guard. Ah, oh, the king's guard doesn't want to sleep with you anymore? Ah, oh, that's fuck Howard Strong. My husband is gay? Ah, oh, let's have bastard children and put them off as his heirs. Oh, the realm's going to burn? Ah, oh, let's burn it anyway, because I, I need to do it for the Sog of Ice and Fire. For the good of the realm, I must unite it by burning it down and blowing up everything. But I cannot gainsay that which the gods have laid before me. Fuck off. The gods haven't lain shit before you. You've lain shit yourself. Just by yourself. But out of your greed and fucking hubris. You want the crown. You're willing to burn the entire realm to do it. You are a terrible ruler. And an absolute idiot. Because she went to Alison previously. With no fucking game plan. And I'm realizing as I rant that we are halfway through the show and basically nothing has happened. Never live it down. Never live it down. <laughs> Come on, old thing. Let's hear Dragon Lord! Hey, the Dragon Lord! Well, now he has to leave <laughs> because there's an entire inn chanting Ulf the Dragon Lord. Uh, he now needs to leave because if he stays in King's Landing, he's going to be fucking hung. Oh, oh, Thanks, lads. Oh, oh, Thanks. I have to do something. My condolences, Lord Hammer. You died in the battle. The Master of Whisperers is doing a bloody shit job. I'm just saying, like, it, people are mass exiting King's Landing. Also, didn't they lock down King's Landing? How easy is it to just leave? Which does bring me to the note of how the hell is King's Landing starving in the first place? They are allied to the Reach. And it's not blockaded by fucking land. So how is food not getting to King's Landing? The entire previous episode was about people starving. But, like, how? It's open. The city is open. There's, there's no threat on land at all. You could just get food from the Reach. You're also allied to the Lannisters. One of the, well, the richest house in Westeros. So you could just buy food. Also, the Targaryen coffers are, like, overflowing with gold at this, like, point in time. Food should not be a problem. The city should be fine. I, sw I, I refuse to believe that that fucking stupid. It's just a plot device that makes no fucking sense in the overall, like, world. Because, yeah. What, what's going to threaten? Uh, dragons? You've got dragons to escort food shipments from the Reach. Get food from the Reach. Get gold and food from the Westerlands. Shit, get food from the bloody Stormlands. The sto like, you have no threats. At all, on your southern and, like, western borders. The only thing blockaded is the Blackwater. And meanwhile, Queen Alison is still in the middle of the woods for reasons. There's a war on, people are starving, like... There's probably bandits in the woods, dude. Apparently, if you ever wanted to assassinate Rhaenyra, all you had to do was realize the mass exodus from King's Landing that was happening, and, um, just send somebody with white hair into the crowd to then stab the bitch. Like, this would be the perfect opportunity to assassinate someone. It's a shame that there isn't a Master of Whisperers or anything, you know? Starvation. War. Starvation part makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> Seriously, the Reach is right there. I know it's having some issues, but, like, it's right there. 
Lannister gold right there. Fucking the Riverlands now. The, you know, breadbasket of... Well, not it's not even the... The Riverlands is very fertile. The Reach is the breadbasket of Westeros. Like, it's... You have plenty of food. You have access to all the food you want. The idea that the blockade is starving King's Landing is in stupid. With these two dragons added to our number, the enemy will have no choice but to give way. Is she not even considering the, the wild dragons, though? Probably the Vermifor and stuff, those aren't wild dragons. She's not even considering the wild dragons. And without bloodshed. God's will- What the f***ing shit is this girl smoking? There's already been bloodshed. What is she talking about without bloodshed? Without blood- You're trying to get more dragons so that you can fucking kill the other dragons. <laughs> well, of course there's gonna be bloodshed. Are you high? What are you doing? You're just lying to these people. You're gonna all do it at the same time to see what one Vermifor likes? Vermifor, we've come to offer you bastards. Please select one to your liking. Badass dragon, though. Your high rush. I have to say, for all the disappointments of the show in season two, the dragons are still badass. They do. Ha they have still nailed what the like the dragons. The dragons are great. It's just some of the story writing and decisions have just really let this season down. It's really been dragged out unnecessarily for so much of it that it just feels like a bit of a slog for so many episodes. And then they have a couple of scenes like this that are really cool. I genuinely feel like. I could take the entire of season two and basically squish it down into like one episode that would tell you everything that happens in the entire season and nothing of value would be lost. Try not to make too much of a mess for me, okay? Good boy. I feel like only one person should be on the platform at any given time. Maybe not put all of the dragon seeds in one basket. But you know, because... Vermifor could just get pissed off and just go boom and burn all of the guns in one giant thing, you know? And also Vermifor could think, ah, you've left me food. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> then you just let me save. Seriously. One person at a time could have saved so much trouble. You don't know how many of those dragon seeds might well have been able to tame a dragon. Are now completely incinerated. Along with a bunch of very loyal guards. For no reason. What was she saying five seconds ago about no bloodshed? <laughs> Erinira, maybe you should have thought this through and planned it better. Jesus Christ, this, this girl is terrible at planning things. She is dreadful at planning things, actually. Name me a single time that she's come up with a good plan. Ever. That hasn't ended in complete and absolute fucking disaster. Come to think of it. Terrible, terrible planning. <laughs> she's terrible self-awareness, like situational awareness. She's just so bad at this. So, so very bad. Why not send one dragon seed out at a time? Why send all- exactly, like, this- this- this-, this so stupid. <laughs> she is so dumb. I swear to fuck. Ah, oh, this is the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. We're all doomed. She's like, ah, I could not have possibly foreseen this turn of events. This is where Hull needs to go out and just go, Vermifor! Oh, oh. Like, as far as is concerned, Rhaenyra showed up with a bunch of fucking random strangers and then just left them and then sat there menacingly watching and Vermifor was like, ah! Snacks! Ex excellent! Thank you, Rhaenyra. This whole plateau of food is, is excellent. Ooh, they're even running! This is this is fun! <laughs> Overfall's having the time of his life. Stop. Stop. Here I am! Come on! At this point, I would just start laughing maniacally. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way I could stop myself from just laughing like a fucking madman. <laughs> now, Renera, do you know how many people you could have saved by not sending all of them in there fucking at the same time? You could have just sent them one by one, you know? This is her great plan. Find all the dragon seeds and just throw them at a dragon until something good happens, you know? Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> push it. <laughs> Yeah, like that. That's Lord the kind of last that laugh I meant. <laughs> That's the I'm fucking alive. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Is he flying? That's not Dragonstone, is it? Is he flying fucking Vegas straight the Dragonstone? What the fuck's going on? I mean, the dragons are really cool. Seriously, this is where the sh this is where the show shines. Is the dragons just straight up no problem? But was that Ulf riding Silverwing over dr over King's Landing? Yeah, that's 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 Ulf riding Silverwing, right? Yeah, that's Silverwing. 
over King's Landing. Why is he was at Dragonstone five seconds ago? Why is he at King's Landing now? And then Vagar's going to Dragonstone. Where's that ghost, Vagar? No pass. Uh, why? What? Why? Where? Why? 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 Uh, this is this is really dumb. Uh, the dragons are cool, but who wrote this? He was. He was at Dragonstone. You're telling me he mounted Silverwing, fucked off the King's Landing across the Black Order, and then flew around and ran again back to Dragonstone. Or was that some kind of stunt to, like, try to lure Vagar away? In which case, like, that's the stupidest fucking plan ever. You just risked... You went through all of this to get more dragons, and then you sent Silverwing to King's Landing to, like, lure Vagar? That's the dumbest plan ever. You, you went through all this trouble to get extra dragon riders and then put one of your dragons in immediate fucking danger to try to lure Vagar to an obvious trap. Seriously, the show really shines when it does the dragons, but every now and again, whoever's doing the writing really stumbles. <laughs> Just starts tripping over themselves ridiculously in like a comical fashion. Like, they, they write crap like that. Like, we went from Silverwing in Dragonstone to immediately in King's Landing to seemingly lure, trying to lure Vagar across the Blackwater. V they would have had to been chasing him for ages. The more you start to unpack it, the stupider it is. <laughs> Silverwing flies over King's Landing. We're assuming because Rhaenyra sent them there to, like, lure Vagar out. So you get on Vagar after Fink, and then you chase Silverwing. Silverwing is way faster than Vagar. So they escape over the Blackwater. Vagar gives chase to the only place that they could possibly be going, which is Dragonstone, which has more dragons than you. This is obviously a trap. And at no point did Aemon figure out this is a trap until he could literally see Dragonstone. <laughs> who writes this shit? Seriously, who writes this shit? Because it's the same person that's doing the Riverlands, I'm telling you now. Whoever the hell writes it is the same bloke that's writing the conflict in the Riverlands, and he thinks that it's smart. But it really fucking isn't. It's really kind of stupid. <sighs> well, let's see what's on next week. The dragons dance. We march now toward our annihilation. Lance are outrage. Is outrage. Damn! There will be no mercy! It looks like they just crammed all of the season's action into, like, the final the final episode. Seriously, I really feel like I could take the entire of season two and just cram it into, like, one episode. And you wouldn't miss anything of importance. <laughs> I could edit together all of season two and put it into a one hour and, like, one hour episode and you'd get the entire story. And it would be so much funner to watch than dragging it out. Because it feels- a lot of episodes feel so, like, stretched. Just stretched the fuck out. Ah, okay, well this one was better than last episode, but still, it- uh, yeah. The Riverlands plot is ridiculously stupid. They've butchered Damon. Uh, Damon's entire story arc for this entire season has just been trash. He hasn't left Harrenhal. We don't need a thousand scenes of the Curse of Harrenhal thing. We get it. I like the Curse of Harrenhal. Uh, it, it- like, one episode. One episode could have established that. Not six. The whole luring Vagar out of King's Landing thing at the end of there, the abrupt cut from taming Silverwing to suddenly being able to fly him to King's Landing and then outmatch like, out Vagar, like, no. That entire trap at the end, completely fucking stupid. Somebody thought that that was genius, but it's, it's really, really, really dumb. The whole King's Landing starving thing also equally is ridiculous because they, they're not blockaded by land and they have access to the, all of the food in Westeros. So why they're starving is anyone's fucking guess. And something a comment uh, brought up in the previous video is in the uh, last episode when the fucking Rhaenyra was being horny. I was busy cracking jokes, but if you think about it, like she was talking about the most traumatic experience in her life and then they bang. You know, nothing gets the juices flowing quite like a uh, horrific trauma. <laughs> Who wrote that? Seriously, who wrote that? I guess the same person that wrote the rest of it. It's, it's, yeah, the writing quality is not... Not great. Season 1 was better. Season 1 was absolutely better. It, this has moments of, like, really cool stuff. But again, I think I could edit out all of the boring shit and just put the cool shit into, like, one episode, and that's Season 2. And you wouldn't lose anything of importance to the story. Oh well. I don't know. Well, uh, next week's the final, I suppose. And then that frees up a upload slot for me, so I'll have more stuff. Which is fine, because I have about a billion fucking things to upload for you guys, so, yeah. That is all for now. I thank you for watching. Soul out.
This war is far from over. 